Hello and welcome to the intensive course titled Japan in International Organizations. In this first introductory video lesson, we shall try to look broadly at international organizations, and the role they play in our increasingly complex world. States created international organizations to do things that they could not do on their own, or to prevent from happening things that were not in the state's interests. An international organization, also known as an international institution, or intergovernmental organization, is a stable set of norms and rules meant to govern the behavior of states, and other players, in the international system. Organizations may be established by a treaty, or be an instrument, governed by international law, and possessing its own legal personality, such as the United Nations, the World Health Organization, and NATO. International organizations, are composed of primarily member states. But they may also include other entities, such as, other international organizations. Additionally, entities, including states, may hold observer status. Notable examples include the United Nations. Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. Council of Europe. International Labor Organization. Or the International Criminal Police Organization, the Interpol. The first and oldest international organization, which was established by a treaty, had a permanent secretariat, and a global membership. Was the International Telecommunication Union, founded in 1865. The first general international organization, addressing a variety of issues, was the League of Nations. The United Nations followed this model after World War II. The role of international organizations, is helping to set the international agenda. Mediating political bargaining and, providing a place for political initiatives. They facilitate cooperation and coordination among member nations. In addition, they promote global initiatives, aimed at reducing inequality like the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. International organizations typically have member states from all over the world. However, in some cases, organizations have geographic limitations, such as the European Union, African Union, and NATO. The oldest regional organization is the Central Commission for Navigation on the Rhine, created in 1815, by the Congress of Vienna. Regional organizations are, in a sense, international organizations, as they incorporate international membership, and include geopolitical entities, that transcend a single nation-state. However, their membership is characterized by boundaries and demarcations characteristic to a defined and unique geography, such as continents, or geopolitics, such as economic blocks. They have been established to foster cooperation, and political and economic integration, or dialogue among states within a certain geographical boundary. They both reflect common patterns of development, and history that have been fostered since the end of World War II. Which is why their institutional characteristics vary from loose cooperation to formal regional integration. Most regional organizations tend to work alongside well-established multilateral organizations such as the United Nations. While, in many instances, a regional organization is simply referred to as an international organization, in many others it makes sense to use the term regional organization to stress the more limited scope of a particular membership. Examples of regional organizations include, amongst others, the African Union, Association of Southeast Asian Nations, the ASEAN, Arab League, Caribbean Community, Council of Europe, Eurasian Economic Union, and European Union. We shall briefly return to this topic later, in Module 3. International organizations, are sometimes referred to as intergovernmental organizations, to clarify the distinction from international non-governmental organizations, which are non-governmental organizations that operate internationally. As well as lobby groups that represent the interests of multinational corporations. In summary to this introductory lecture, it is important to remind ourselves that international organizations did not create themselves or exist on their own. 
They were designed, supported, and operated by the countries that created them. However, international organizations, from the United Nations, down to voluntary organizations with members in just a few countries, operate in a sphere, that goes beyond the state system. This does not mean that international organizations are necessarily more powerful, or more important than states, certainly political realists do not see them that way. Like states, international organizations are tangible institutional products of social and political forces. In Lecture 2 we shall look more closely into the theories of international relations, such as realism and liberalism, and how their supporters view international organizations.